A recent 24-7 Wall Street article reads that Idaho is one of 10 states where the middle class is dying. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Nesman talked to a local economist today. Chris, middle class income, we all know, has dropped quite a bit in the gem state. You're absolutely right, Todd. A lot of people have certainly struggled financially even after the recession is officially over. But things could get, be getting back to better soon. 4.7%. That's how much an average middle income Idaho family lost from 2009 to 2013 after adjusting for inflation. It's a lot less than the top 20% of the earners, whose income actually grew in the same time period. Part of that could come from where the top earners make their money. It could be hourly paid jobs, but it could be uh, salary jobs where higher income earners are probably earning it from investments. Yeah, according to Jensen, there could be light at the end of the tunnel. It wouldn't surprise me if those middle wages end up increasing as the recession's uh, symptoms decrease. You know. With that in mind, we spoke with a financial planner from East Idaho Credit Union to see what a regular person can do to get ahead. You've got to sit down and really decide where is your money going. Sometimes if we're not careful, our money can go in places that really have no value. And so by sitting down and making a budget and creating a savings plan, a uh, plan for how you spend your money really helps people stretch their dollars the most. Right. Sir says people should put about 10% of their monthly income towards savings and to divide their savings into three separate categories. Short-term money would be money that they need right away. We'll just start with $1,000. Medium-term money would be money that they may need in a few years down the road and then long term would be for retirement. Sir says for even those who live on very slim margins, putting a few dollars aside can save you from overspending and keep your budget afloat. Now, Sir gave me several tips for saving money, one of them being simply as cutting the number of times you go to the grocery store in a month. Reporting live in studio, I'm Chris Nesman. Hard knocks, got to do it though, huh? All right, Chris, thanks. Even though income disparity in Idaho did increase over the past few years, we're still one of the least divided states in the country.